For centuries we've believed our consciousness, our very self, lives entirely within the intricate folds of our brain. It's the organ that thinks, feels, dreams. The evidence seems overwhelming. Brain damage alters us. A flat line means the lights are out. Neuroscience largely agrees. We've found neural correlates of consciousness. Specific brain activities tied directly to our thoughts and feelings. Theories like integrated information theory and global workspace theory beautifully explain how the brain processes information to create our conscious experience. When the brain is compromised, so is consciousness. It seems to be a product of this complex biological machine. But here's where it gets truly mysterious. Scientists can explain how the brain works, but not why it produces subjective experience, the what it's like to see blue, feel pain, or love. This is known as the hard problem of consciousness. This gap opens the door to radical ideas. What if consciousness isn't produced by the brain, but merely transmitted or even in some sense, inherent in the universe itself? Philosophers explore dualism, panpsychism or idealism, suggesting mind is more fundamental than matter. Even in physics, some theories like Penrose and Hameroff's orc or propose quantum processes in our brains could link consciousness to the fabric of space-time. The idea of non-local consciousness suggests our minds might be connected beyond space and time, and then there are near-death experiences, or NDEs, and out-of-body experiences. People report vivid, coherent conscious awareness during periods of apparent brain inactivity. Could these be glimpses of a consciousness beyond our biological form? Mainstream science largely explains these phenomena as complex brain states under extreme stress, a surge of neurochemicals or the brain trying to make sense of disrupted sensory input. Controlled experiments for veridical perceptions during NDEs often fall short of conclusive evidence. For now, the brain-based view remains the strongest scientifically, but the profound hard problem persists leaving us to ponder, is consciousness merely a biological function, or is it a deeper, more fundamental aspect of reality, something truly universal that we are only beginning to comprehend? The enigma of consciousness continues to drive research at the very edges of human knowledge. What do you think? Is our mind confined to our skulls, or is it part of something far, far greater?